Happy World Toilet Day! Did you know that today is World Toilet Day? November 19th of every year is now World Toilet Day, which comes right after Plop Day, which was yesterday. That's right, everybody. The World Toilet Organization made this World Toilet Day, but that was years after Plop Day was established. Isn't that a coincidence? Now, World Toilet Day, it pays tribute to that awesome beast that we call the toilet. That's right. And the fact that it comes right after Plop Day, that illustrates our love-hate relationship with toilets. See, we Plop Day is about destroying the toilets. It's about clogging them up, especially at school putting things in toilets like scissors and walkie-talkies and bubble gum and books and folders and Republican campaign literature and newspapers. Oh, I already said Republican campaign literature, didn't I? And rocks and candy canes and records and magazines and things like that. We used to put them in the toilet back in high school, which prompted the principal to say, plop, on plop day. So every year for the past 22 years has been plop day on November 18th to mark that date. But November 19th is World Toilet Day, which isn't about, it's, it's about promoting toilets and sanitation and making toilets better and improving the lives of toilets just the day after destroying toilets. See, there's one day for tearing toilets down and the following day is for building toilets back up. And this isn't just world, this isn't just local toilet day. This isn't just county toilet day. This isn't just American toilet day. This isn't just, uh, Europe Toilet Day, or Canadian Toilet Day, or, or Chinese Toilet Day. This is World Toilet Day. We're talking world, baby. World. That's right. It's, it's World Toilet Day. And see, with this love-hate relationship we have with the toilets, you know, the toilets don't mind it at all. They really don't. See, I mean, toilets are inanimate objects. They don't have feelings. So they don't care if you clog them up. You know, you can, you can insult a toilet all you want. It won't hurt the toilet's feelings. And when a toilet breaks, it feels no pain. See, they're like corporations. They're not living. They're not breathing. They don't, uh, they don't have feelings. They're made out of dead material. That's right. Because they're toilets. They're not people. They're not animals. They're not plants. They're toilets. So, so that's how, that's what World Toilet Day is all about. And November is a, is a toilety month. You know that? Because it's got all this, it's got Election Day, which probably causes lots of toilets to be used because people see the results and they pretty much uh, have to cleanse their system out after that. And it's got Plop Day and World Toilet Day and it's got Thanksgiving when people feast on a host of fine foods which um, probably causes the toilets to be used after that. And it's got lots of football too. And people probably all flush the toilets at once during halftime and overload many a city's septic system. So, yeah, that's what World Toilet Day is all about. Now, if you go on the internet and check, um, first thing I'm going to do is check the latest memes. But, yeah, you go on the internet and read about World Toilet Day. 
See, it's an international event. They've held it. They've held like a world toilet conference, and every year in a different city to to tell people about the importance of sanitation, so people don't consume waste. That's right. Okay, I guess there's not really much much news today yet. You never know though. I mean besides the fact that it's World Toilet Day, I guess people I guess probably all our political leaders are taking the day off because it's World Toilet Day. I guess that's really what the, what the Republicans, the Republicans scheduled that um, meeting with Obama yesterday. But then I guess they figured out it was plop day, so they, they decided to take the day off. So, and they rescheduled it. Now, This is interesting. This is interesting. Yeah, well, I guess it's not that interesting. Travel related news. That's right. Flight from San Francisco to New York actually crosses over Canadian airspace. That's, that's interesting. I'm going to have to try that on Flight Simulator. Flight from San Francisco to New York. See? Let me get out my roadhouse here and see how I could be. How could, how could flight from San Francisco to New York cross over Canadian airspace? Aha! That's right! It goes over southern Ontario. Probably near Toronto. Ah, uh, so that's... So I knew there was going to be a big t talking point coming up. Like, so I think I, somebody was going to say, eh, but, the, but San Francisco to New York doesn't go over kidding. It, but it does, apparently. I thought Fox News was going to say, the flight's not supposed to go over Canadian airspace. But it does, apparently. Canada goes further south than you thought. So, so that's, um, that's, that's pretty much the only thing that's in the latest, latest news today. So, um, yeah. Now the thing about World Toilet Day, you, you have to, you have to respect toilets. I mean, you can clog toilets all you want, but you have to, you have to respect them when you do. Because sometimes toilets don't like being clogged. This, they might, uh, you might get more than you bargained for. Like it might splash back or something. See, so toilets, to toilets might not have feelings or brains or internal organs. But they can fight back if you don't respect them. So... Happy World Toilet Day. That's right, everybody. Happy World Toilet Day. So, until next year, have a toilety year, everybody.